How's it going, Capricorn? Welcome to Aries Fire Tarot. My name is Robin. I am just preparing the Tarot of Dreams deck to do your August 2021 Wealth and Abundance Tarot card reading. So <clears throat> this is going to be a general reading for Capricorn in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I'm going to channel messages through my team and spirit for you guys. So hopefully this resonates. If you find your sun sign of Capricorn tarot card reading uninteresting or unintriguing, uh, maybe go check out your moon sign reading. I think that's always great advice. Um, so, <clears throat> geez, I just completely dried up. There was some sort of message that was coming through from my spirit guides. But I tried to focus on it and it sort of stepped back into the shadows a little bit so let's just focus on shuffling the deck and getting you guys the best reading possible for august 2021 wealth and abundance opportunities you might see um <clears throat> a gift coming in i just had a card come out so we'll look at that uh there could be somebody coming in to help you get to the next level in your life and i will pull a romance angel oracle card at the end of the reading so let's see what's going on here you've got the chariot card so i love this card for you guys because it's sort of it's an indication of a burst of energy to get you guys going to sort of kick start your dream or you know just you could have been flatlining as far as inspiration goes especially for very creative people like if you're trying to write or trying to paint or sculpt or something like that trying to see your way out of a situation and just being completely like zero you know nothing coming to you like that that haze that i was talking to you guys about at the beginning of the reading where i was just i was seeing so much and then all of a sudden it was like the clouds rolled in so the chariot card could really help the clouds part for you guys it's like really taking control of your energy again um, and this card is super important because everything is about energy. People read your energy. Um, the universe reads your energy. So it's a really good sign that, okay, that period of just like nothing is coming to me. It's about to come to an end for you. Okay. So just like what to do next um, could have been completely evading you something is going to come in and really help you guys you ever see somebody try to kickstart a motorcycle and they just keep on kickstarting it and kickstarting it um you know and it's just super embarrassing for them and you know you might be tempted to walk away but you don't give up on it because you need some place to go and you'd really like to take your motorcycle to get there this is what the chariot card is saying try to kick start it one more time i think i'm just gonna write that down hold on for a second hold on so i guess for those of you that don't drive a motorcycle it'd be like flooding your car engine and you can't go anywhere so you just have to wait for the flood to dissipate um so i'm gonna stop making vehicular references because not everybody drives but you get the general idea right so the chariot coming in for you um the flood dissipates, you're finally able to kickstart. So um, I'm gonna take this card. There's actually a bunch, so I'm gonna take them all. Uh, wow, okay, so we've got the moon card here. There is a definite sense that your intuition is gonna come back sharply into view. You can see here, like this in the middle, is the moon shining through and the clouds are parting so frustrating trying to look at the moon and it's hiding behind a bunch of clouds like this is your idea this is your goal um your ultimate gift that you are trying to perceive so that you can pursue it the clouds are parting but your intuition can still sense things even if you can't see them so maybe try closing your eyes if you can't see your way through and it should really help you because we pulled the three of coins here which is the card of alchemy you can still keep spinning the wheel even if you don't see the ultimate goal you know it's like that phrase is like even if you can't see the entire staircase you're still gonna take the first step and the rest of the staircase will reveal itself so if you guys are feeling uninspired you might want to just do something like 
especially like I'm getting real artist analogies here. Like if you're not motivated to paint, maybe just set up a new canvas and new brushes and get everything ready. If you're not ready to write, maybe just go sit in front of your laptop or however it is that you write and look at the page and view yourself as if you're like really try to imagine and visualize yourself doing the thing that you don't feel like doing right now because that burst of energy is coming back in around for you you've got the four of coins here as well okay so i mean this is the best four of coins that i've ever seen there's no fear it's just kind of looking for it it's like Okay, I know it's there somewhere, but you guys have to be the one that open the lid to the treasure chest. Nobody's going to come in and do this. This is a time where you guys have to really rely on your own ability to get yourself through this phase of the doldrums. It's like being trapped inside on a rainy day and not being able to go outside. Well, the rain is going to end, so prepare yourself for when the clouds part, when the rain stop, when the floods dissipate, because it's here for you in all its shining glory. You have the three and the four of coins. These are beautiful cards of alchemy. This is you spinning away, even if you don't see the results, even if the staircase is hidden in clouds, there's no time to stop. It's still there, even if it's hidden from view right now. Okay, so in the last card that I pulled, well, that pulled themselves from the deck is the Three of Wands. And I love this card so much because you kept on going despite all odds, despite a lack of enthusiasm, possibly a lack of support from other people. You know, you could be submitting a million resumes or you could be submitting a manuscript and getting nothing back, but... It's out there working for you, okay? Just because something is off in the distance doesn't mean it's not going to come closer. And you can see that here with this three of wands. The ship is coming in. Have the faith that your ship is coming in, okay? Your energy is subject to change and it's going to happen for you very quickly. You could just go to bed one night and feel like, oh, why am I even doing this? And then wake up in the morning thinking, I am doing this, okay? Your energy could change. It could change while you're sleeping. You never know where you're going to get inspiration from. So um, just don't stop the preparations, whatever it is. Like if you need to go shopping for whatever it is that you need to keep on stoking the fires of your dream, then go and do it, you know? Um, if you're going on job interviews, maybe go and buy yourself a new outfit. If you don't have tons of money, go to the thrift shop and get something there you know you can get art supplies at the dollar store you don't have to go and break the bank um but it's so inspiring to refresh your supplies refresh your wardrobe it refreshes your energy and then if you put things where you can see them you know you can hang up your outfit that you bought for the interview that you don't have yet, or you bought your art supplies for the painting that you don't feel like painting right now, put it into view and it'll start calling you. Okay, well, let's really refresh that job search or maybe you want to pick up a paintbrush now and really start doing something about it. So you guys are going to have to start reciprocating the energy and sort of replicating the scenario that you see yourselves in, even if you don't have the energy right now to follow through. You know, do something to provide that inspiration, okay? And that's what I'm seeing here. And with this chariot card, it really could literally change in a second. So you want to make sure you have all those preparations done um, and ready for you. And if you don't want to go shopping, do it online, okay? And have it delivered, you know? Because sometimes <clears throat> things go into such a period of stagnation, but you can still do little things. It can be something as small as making a list okay well this is what i should be doing and don't beat yourself up about it either if you don't have the energy to follow through just allow that to soak into you okay well i should be doing this and maybe you wrote it down 10 days ago and then on the 10th day you're like okay i'm gonna do that now cross it off the list check you know and just keep on going and congratulate yourself or re reorganize your home you know 
do something to clear out that stagnant energy. I like to listen to HZ frequencies to clear out any stagnant energy in the home. Um, you know, there's stuff that you guys can do to really mix things up so that you start feeling motivated again. So, um, I love this card, okay? This is this says to love yourself first. And this is just pouring all that self-love into yourself and like that self-care, you know? Um, it's okay if I don't feel motivated right now. Uh, I'll, I'll be ready when motivation strikes me again. Your self-respect makes you romantically or like law of attractionally attractive, you know? So I know so many people beat themselves up if they can't get something accomplished right away in that moment. But this is not the time to do that. Just say, okay, I just need to rest a little bit longer or I need to regroup or I need to organize, write that list, maybe blast out the negative energy in my home, maybe do some smudging, you know, whatever it is that it's going to take. Like, love yourself first and know that you can do it. It's just maybe not, not the right time and prepare yourself for when it is because it could literally happen overnight. Okay, guys, so... I'm going to wrap this one up for you. Sending many blessings. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye.